Baltimore City Schools, pink slips are on the way. The school system CEO delivered the news of 100 job cuts to lawmakers this morning. We get the story now from I Team lead investigative reporter Jane Miller. She's live in the newsroom. Jane. Kate, the planned layoffs target some of the higher salary employees in the system. This is not about teachers. The city school system's central office staff, all administrative, totals about 1,000 people. 10% of them are targeted for layoff. Gregory Thornton, the system CEO, detailed the plan, intended to help reduce a $63 million deficit to city legislators. Thornton said 100 layoffs of central office staff are planned. Real people, he said in response to a question, not vacant positions that won't be filled. City State Senator Bill Ferguson sees a budget challenge as a means to examine the system overall. There are always opportunities to relook at the system and say, hey, how can we do this better? How can we be more efficient? How can we be more effective? And this is one of those moments. The layoffs target the part of the city school system with the high paying jobs. As we reported a few weeks ago, among 149 people who work for headquarters, the average salary clears six figures at $107,000. Who is being targeted? Unknown. Jimmy Giddings, the head of the union for about 130 of the 1,000 central office staff members, says his members are safe. I have been assured by Dr. Thornton uh, and some of his executive staff that none of my people will be touched, whether it be central office or school base. The school CEO also said today he's looking to change health and pension benefits for all employees to lower the cost to the system. That will require negotiations with the unions. Reporting live tonight from the newsroom, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL TV 11 News.